Hey guys, I'm Mother Daughter. Today, today we're making Bangladeshi popcorn chicken. So let's get started. The ingredients that you, you'll need are one cup of chicken breast. Um, you need to cube it up so it's bite size. A quarter cup of besan. We'll talk about this in a minute. A quarter teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter cup of all-purpose flour. A quarter lemon. Half a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of water. We decided to go with four tablespoons because it depends on the amount of moisture you may need. And this is a Bangladeshi spice mix. And in here we have a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of chili powder, two cloves of garlic, a half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of onion, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, two pieces of cloves, and half a teaspoon of salt. So You'll also need about a shallow pan that is filled with oil. We decided to go with canola oil. It depends on whichever oil you may want, but we prefer you use uh, flavorless oil and a mixing bowl. So let's get started. So now the first thing that you want to do is get your oil preheating. We have that on the stove at a low heat. And then we're going to dump in our, or add our chicken into our mixing bowl and we actually pre-marinated the chicken for about seven hours mm. so the flavor really goes in next we're going to add in our spice blend and we marinated the chicken with uh, just a little bit of lemon juice salt and pepper sure. next we're going to add in our lemon juice and we prefer you use fresh lemon juice like we are Next, we're going to add in our quarter teaspoon of salt. Actually, this is half a teaspoon, not quarter. Then you want to mix it together. If you want, you could use a spoon to mix it with, but... Now, we're going to add in our all-purpose flour. So now we're going to add in our baking powder and our besan. So while she's mixing, let's talk about the besan. This is the packet that it usually comes in. It doesn't cost that much. It costs about 2 to $3. You can get this at any Indian or Bangladeshi store and Pakistani store. It Usually, uh, if you ask the manager or anyone, they might uh, call it a different name but this is generally the pack that it comes in. So let's go back to the cooking. Because of the added lemon juice, you might need a little less water or a little more water. It just depends. You don't have the exact recipe or the amount of flour that you may need. And we're adding our besan in small little batches. For the lemon juice, if you don't like a nice aesthetic taste or a nice soury sort of taste, then you don't need to add the lemon juice, but if you want a nice refreshing taste while eating this, you can add the lemon juice. So our mixture is now finished. We're going to go over to the stove and fry these things up. So our oil is heating up and you want it to come up to 350 degrees to 375 degrees so the chicken can cook on the inside. And you don't want the temperature to be too high or else you'll have a raw chicken on the inside and a burnt outside. So here we're just testing the oil, seeing if it's at the right temperature. This is at the perfect temperature because you see light sizzling on the outside. And since we saw that, we're just going to take it out. And now we're going to put in the rest of our chicken. That was just a test one. So now we're going to slowly add in all of our popcorn chickens. You don't want to hear like a crackling sizzle, you want to hear a light sizzle. And for this, we're using a shallow pan, as you can see, and a very low heat. Our heat is at a 3. So we're going to continue fry these until they're done. And if your oil is too high, you might need to lower the temperature. You want to cook these until they're 
the outside has a nice hard crust because you don't want to have a soggy oily crust. And then you want to put it over on a oil lined paper so the oil can soak up the excess grease. So we're slowly stirring these little popcorn chickens and if you have any big pieces then you might not want to fry them with the small pieces because it needs a different temperature. But now we lowered it to heat temperature to a two, more like a one. So it can cook slowly and has a nice hard crust. So this um, mixture, you can even uh, freeze it uh, for a couple of weeks if you want to, like if you have like any guests over and you know that you're going to have guests over the next day, you can make this the previous day at night and let it marinate so it has all of that flavors throughout the meat, which will make it nice. You could even freeze this, as I was saying, for a couple of weeks, and you can fry these up just before you do any type of afternoon snack or any one comes by. So these are almost ready to be taken out of the oil, and it's been about five minutes frying. These do take quite a while for frying, but it's still worth it, because it's a quick and easy recipe, and if you want more recipes, like this, then you can get a, head over to our website and click under the Grab My Recipe playlist. Or if you want to, since this is her first recipe, if you want more of her recipes, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Or you can also tweet us online or on Twitter. Now we're just taking these out. And sometimes a few may fall, but it's okay. And uh, as you can see, like we're holding it onto the side, so most of the oil can drip out. So it, the popcorn chicken is like sitting in its own oil. And if you liked this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more recipes. So this is our finished result. So this is the end result again. And you can serve this with tomato ketchup or tomato sauce like we are. You can also add extra garnish or anything else. But these taste fabulous by themselves or if you want then you can also add tomato sauce like here. But other than that, we will see you next week. Goodbye. And just a little text, texture text. It is that uh, we upload videos on Fridays or Saturdays. Leave a comment down below if you want us to upload videos on Fridays or Saturdays. But other than that, we'll see you next week. Goodbye.